Hi guys, Mo here, documentary photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria, and welcome to my channel. In this channel, I share simple tips that would help you as a beginner photographer. And today we are talking about, wait for it, the Sony AR2, whether it's still worth it for you to buy it in 2021. For you to get all about this video, watch till the end, because there are certain things I would share that you've not seen in any other review. Wait for it. Like every other camera, it needs a lens to work, right? So here I have the um, 24 to 70 2.8 G Master, the Sony lens. So this is like dual lens, so I'm gonna fix it here. Boom. Then take this out and put on the lens hood. And here we go. <laughs> the Sony AR2. Is it still worth it in 2021? Number one, this camera is a 42 megapixel camera. For someone like me coming from, I used, by then I, I had um, a Canon 5D Mark II, and you gave me this. <laughs> That's like moving from here to here. I'm not taking jabs at Canon anywhere, but it's just what this camera has to offer like 42 megapixel camera like you can go all crop 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 and the images will still be stack sharp that's what you get on a 42 megapixel camera like whoa a lot of camera bodies before then were like um, 24 megapixel uh, 30 megapixel sony came out with the air out with a 42 megapixel camera like you can blow it up on a billboard and you still have the same sharpness you have even on the small screen and that's mind-blowing considering that a lot of cameras even made in 2020 2021 do not even have up to 42 megapixels so if i were you and i'm looking for a camera that has that kind of size when it comes to the images they produce the air 2 is what you need the number two reason why I would choose the Sony AR2 in 2021 is because it has a whooping 399 focal points. Like coming from someone that was shooting a camera that was barely like 15 megapoint. Like when you're trying to focus, you you're making sure that the person enters the, like the 10 or 15 focal points you had. But this one 399, meaning you can put your subject anywhere in the frame and it will still be as sharp as it being at the center of your frame. So if you're somebody that shoots those kind of camera bodies that doesn't, it's not sharp to the edges, like this camera right here, all the images from the center to the edges are as sharp as anything you can think about. Like 300, I can't get my mind off it. Like 399 focal points on one single camera body. Now, Sony, you guys outdid yourselves on this one. Let's say you're um, a street photographer and you're going to the street and you've actually perfected your shot and you're just waiting for your subject to walk into the frame. Because every way, like you have focal points on every single part of the screen, you can actually place your subject anywhere and take the picture knowing that all the pictures will be as sharp as the center. And that's something that is top, top, top stuff from the sunny body. So, the number two reason I'll always choose 
the sunny air out too over maybe the newer ones i don't know <laughs> number three reason why i like the sunny air out too being a full frame camera but it has this option that you can change it from a full frame to a crop sensor like you can change this camera from being a full frame to uh, an APS-C sensor. Like, that's so dope. So with the APS-C mode on this camera, it means you have both a full frame and a crop sensor all in one body. And that's so amazing because there are so many things you can do with your lens choices, meaning that it can increase your focal length of your lenses because once you put it on a crop sensor, it increases the focal length too. Let me tell you a practical example. So if you're shooting like um, sports and you have on it a 70 to 200, but where you, your subject actually is, is actually farther away from you, you can actually now change your camera stuff from the full frame it is to a crop sensor and that automatically turns your 70 to 200 to like 100 to 300. The next reason I would choose this camera is the ISO level. Like, I can shoot up to 6,400 on this and the picture quality will still be dope and there'll be no noise. You know, some cameras, when you actually push the ISO level, you realize that you find tiny, tiny, tiny dots. Those things actually, are, they call it noise in photography. So those things look bad in your photographs. But with the A7 out 2 you can't have that. Like. 6,400 on ISO is still as clean as anything else, but I don't go that high. I just shoot about um, 400, 1,000, be, yeah, depending on the circumstance or where I find myself. The ISO capability of this camera is outrageous, and for a camera that is like six to seven years old, I think it's worth it. Like at this point, it's worth it because cameras in this generation, the generation where this came from, they don't have this kind of capabilities that this one have. So guys, I'm not even sure whether I'm keeping numbers anymore because I'm so, so, so thrilled that this camera can do all of this stuff. And I forgot to mention, if you shoot on this camera, maybe your exposure was on underexposed or exposed, you'll be so surprised what quality this camera can return. So when you now go to your post um, processing um, software, whichever one you use, Photoshop, um, Lightroom, whatever one you use, Capture One, you can actually pull out the details in the underexposed picture or the overexposed picture and the picture would look brand new as if that was how it was taken. It's ability to retain a lot of information when it is overexposed or in like underexposed. Maybe you're shooting with a strobe and or a speed light or any other stuff. So you're actually busting and it's going. Maybe that particular frame is good. The expression on your client is perfect. But one thing is missing. The light did not come on. So the image turned out to be underexposed. But with this, the information with this camera, when you actually take it, like always photograph raw not JPEG. So when they are on RAW, you want, you go to your Lightroom, whichever one you use, you bump up the exposure a bit. Before you know it, you have your perfect image. I love it because of that, because sometimes, you know, we make mistakes. The stabilization on this camera is so amazing and Sony boasts of five axis stabilization. Like if you have a camera body that has, like this camera body, that has that kind of five axis stabilization and you have a lens that has stabilization that means you might not actually need a gimbal <laughs> you know that camera shake stuff because of the stabilization in the camera you won't have it like your camera would be stable like the stability is 100 percent it blew my mind like i couldn't believe that you know, when you're trying to, like an event, people are pushing you and you're trying to take a photograph and you're thinking, oh, would it be sharp, would it be in focus and all of that. I told you earlier about the 399 focus point and now with the induced stabilization, five axes. So even if you're doing like this, you're trying to photograph, like people are pushing you. Once you take, click your shutter button, you are sure that your photograph will be perfect. And that's the good thing about this camera body. I love it so very much. So those are all the good things, but there's also a downside to it. 
and the downside is the battery life. This, this tiny battery right here, this battery, you need up to five, six of them for you to actually feel that, oh, okay, maybe I have battery. Or you find a battery grid that you can put two batteries inside and work so that it works simultaneously and keep your battery alive. Because outside of that, your battery life is terrible. Like, it's terrible. But for the price it goes for right now in the market, it's worth it. It's really worth it. Thank you guys for watching this video to the end of it. I think by now you should have known that buying that camera, the Sony Air Out 2, for a thousand dollars, like sometimes under a thousand dollars, depending on where you're buying from, that is the used to one. You realize that you have so much value for less money. So if you want to be watching videos like this where I actually review camera bodies and lighting equipment and every other stuff, let me know in the comment section. Please, 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 please now subscribe to the channel. My name is Mayo Tzu. I'm a documentary photographer. There will be other links to all my other videos right here.